I was a school teacher for almost 20 years. And when we started the training for gun violence, I was horrified. How could this possibly be part of my job as a teacher? A job that I took because I wanted to inspire children. I wanted them to feel hope in their future. I wanted them to feel safe to explore the world. And yet here I was inviting, not demanding for them to silently cower under their desks, knowing that we were preparing, doing a drill, not for a fire or an earthquake, but for some random person to come onto our campus. We had no fences around our campus. It was an open campus. My door was accessible easily from the street. And sometimes the door locked and sometimes it didn't. And we did the best we could. But knowing every single day I was coming to work with the threat of possibly dying, not only me dying, but having to bear that weight of children in my charge. When I hear these numbers, even to have one child die in a classroom, I've, I've had that happen. And it's overwhelming. Children bear grief in their bodies almost immediately. They absorb the feelings that are in the air. Even when they're not told, even when nobody says anything, they still feel it. They feel it immediately. And to imagine a, a scene like that where so many children dead instantly, all because one very disturbed person had access to a weapon that should never be on the earth, frankly, and certainly not purchasable in a simple way. This is a weapon that has never in our history been part of any normal culture. And yet this weapon that can slaughter lives instantaneously, when there are so many schools that don't have funding for fancy metal gates or automatic locking systems or even updated uh, security in any way. It got to a point before I retired a couple of years ago where every time we heard a siren, kids would freeze. And we would all pause and wait for the siren to die down. And then we would try to go back to the, our work. And that happened every day. And then the training changed. And now the training was that if you as teachers don't actively try to fight back, um, you'll be sued, not only by <clears throat> one person, but maybe many. You, you could lose your whole financial status. You could lose everything if you don't fight back. So now it, it had gone from cower with the children in the corner and try to protect them and hope they'll be safe to and now you need to gather the staplers and throw them at a man with an automatic weapon. The, the insanity of this is unbelievable. My husband and I taught in an international school in China, a communist country where there are no guns on the street. We like to think of communism as being this horrible thing. And yet the kids were safe. There were no shootings at schools. There was no shootings anywhere. It was completely safe for me as a woman to walk on the street or to go jogging at 10 o'clock at night in a city of 3 million. Those, there were never drills for running or hiding from a shooter, ever. And I had Chinese friends who said to me, <clears throat> so how many guns do you have? <laughs> 
I said, I don't have any guns. And they said, what? Oh, we just thought all Americans had guns because you're, you're all killing each other every day. That's all we hear in the news. That's all I hear now, too. That can't be the land of the free and the home of the brave. When will we be brave enough to stand up and say, no. When will we tear down these horrible systems that have created such cowardice? When, when will we say, now, we're done. We keep doing this. We keep going over and over. And people say, oh, my hearts and prayers are with the victims. Bullshit. No, they're not. And until they are, this country will just keep suffering. And the suffering isn't going to get any better.